previously on Living Off Grid. Hey guys, good morning. Another beautiful day here on or in Blackfish Hollow. Um, the sun is shining through the trees and it's just absolutely beautiful. The birds are chirping and a spring has sprung and I love it. Just getting ready for the day, um, brushing my teeth, brushing my hair. Um, I'll change here in a minute, but I'm wearing sweat socks and Jake's shoes because he has slip on shoes and they're a lot easier to put on and move around. Um, then my big clunkin' boots. Um, made some tea, just some turmeric tea with cistus and carna, which is a type of flower that you find in Portugal. Um, it's tea that we collected when we were in Portugal uh, last year. Um, it helps with inflammation and stuff. Just making the typical breakfast that we've been making the last like four days in a row, just oatmeal, nothing special. It's quick, easy, fills us up, it's hearty. Um, then we throw in all that fun extra stuff to kind of help our bodies go for the day. So this morning was kind of exciting. Jake and I placed the order for our platform for our yurt. Yay! We cleared a really big area for the yurt. We're going to do a little bit more clearing today and moving all the sticks and really getting it ready for the yurt. I'm looking at the location where the yurt is going right now and the sun is just hitting it so beautifully and I'm just... oh. The year is just gonna glow right there. I love it, I'm really excited. Are you excited for today? Yes, but I am channeling that excitement into beast mode. Beast mode. So we're moving the compost toilet right there. Yeah, because then it's more in our property, it's off the... Right now it's got privacy, it's tucked away, but technically when you pull up the road, it's on our other lot, but folks can still see it. And I think it's kind of unneighborly, so I'm going to put it back in here, more in our property, so it's tucked away, but still so that Nicole and I have privacy. And then we can use the other lot as a staging ground for the platform materials. For the yurt. Awesome. So Jake and I just have to clear all this out of the way. So we're gonna be hacking away at that and then about three o'clock, um, like three, three or five is when our shipment should be here and then we're gonna go pick it up. And we have awesome neighbors that are helping us out and uh, letting us use their truck so we can get it up here faster and um, super jazzed about that. Uh, we also got a ton of firewood the other day so Jake and I are set and I'm really excited like look at all this firewood we got you guys I mean so much firewood it's gonna last us a long time so thank you to our wonderful neighbors have been nothing but nice and genuine to us so thank you and uh, yeah so I gotta put this camera down so I can help Jake so he's not doing it by himself but okay see you guys later Let's get to work.
You got it. Good job. Thanks. That was a big one. That was the king of alders. I'm sorry, buddy. Send the energy to your root system and let them grow around the yard. Whew. Okay. Just have to say, living in this little community and living off the grid, anything can happen within seconds. Everything could change. It's so different. But so you're probably wondering why I'm standing in this cute little cabin. Well, we have such amazing neighbors and one of our neighbors has a little cabin that he uses for like guests and stuff like that. And he offered it to Jake and I, and it has a bathroom, it has a shower, it has a bed, it has like a little kitchenette and stuff like that. And, um, he said that we are more than welcome to stay here until we get the yurt put up and then because he's staying here for a couple more days and then he's leaving to go back to where he lives because he just comes up here every once in a while and uh, he wants us to look after the place so we're like I mean perfect I'm not gonna argue because it would be so nice to get out of that van for a little bit and um, to have a shower here is just so nice so nice let me just tell you so nice <laughs> so Jake and I have just been unpacking the van. I've been cleaning. Jake had to jumpstart a truck because we have to use a truck to unload all the stuff because we're still getting our platform for our yurt today, which should be coming, I looked at an imaginary watch, should be coming in about a half an hour. So I'm just finishing cleaning up in here, getting things organized, and then I'm gonna jump in the truck. So he'll be in the van, I'll be in the truck. And then we have another friend who's also helping us. I mean, I'm telling you guys, the people here and the neighbors are just so wonderful. Like I, they're so wonderful and so nice. And I just, I'm so grateful. So anyway, it's been a very busy day, a busy, busy morning. It's about almost 3.30. So um, I think the barge might be here. So, all right, let's go get our platform guys. I'm so excited. <laughs> One more. What a day so far. It's been crazy. It's been great. No, it's been great. We're just getting things done. We're, I think we're managing ourselves really well in terms of rest and fun and also work, work, work. And uh, it's still just March and we're starting on the platform and we yeah. got an area. And... Yeah. So we stopped because we didn't eat lunch. So we're making, or we just made some dinner. Well, Jake made dinner. I made the fire. This and... is crazy lighting right now. I'm like in a different, I know. like a vortex back here. <laughs> We're just sitting on a rock. I'm in Mars. You're on Earth. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much for lunch and lunch dinner. You wanted noodles and stir fry. No, it smells really good. It's like steaming in my face. Like, eat me. <laughs>
for the rest of the day, we're just going to be laying the blocks out. Wow, it's good. Is it good? Mm. Okay. Oh, you got something in your lip? Sorry. My girlfriend likes my beard, so I get stuff in it. <laughs> so we're just going to be laying the blocks out. We finished clearing the whole area, and then the shipment came, and so we're just going to be laying the blocks out and kind of somewhat getting it in the shape it needs to and just kind of and we didn't know if they wanted to be on camera or not so we cut them out of our videos but we did have a couple neighbors who are so helpful to us and really let us use their trucks they um, helped us drive the materials up here and couldn't have done it without our great neighbors yes we want to so thank you we don't want to ever film anybody unless they actually want to be on camera mm -hmm. so we're keeping them anonymous but they know who they are and, and our hearts go out to them. Thank you for helping us get our materials up the road to our place and get off the barge because they only had the forklift, not the crane this time. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm going to get off here and eat. We called it a night and got some much needed rest. The next day, we didn't waste any time getting started. We moved all the cement blocks and Jake started cutting down some of the bigger trees that we thought might create a threat to our yurt. took a break, ate some delicious lunch, and then back to work we went. We also had an audience today. Some of the kids from down the street wanted to help and check out our filming equipment. A special shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for all the help. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.